Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. We are looking at Acid Rain World Shea figure, though maybe some people will pronounce it Shea. It should be Shea. Uh, this is a new female figure I got a couple of days ago. Looks to be a repeat of or mixture of some of the other female figures we've had previously, reusing parts and mixing matching, but looks pretty cool. Uh, have a look at the back, you see she comes with like a shotgun, knife, two pistols and a helmet. You can just about make out through the plastic there. Uh, uh, name on the side, I'm sorry. And just the barcode and tells it to you from the NAUS forces on the other side. Nothing on the bottom and just the opening on top. Okay, let me get this open and let's get into the review. Okay, here she is. She comes with this helmet. It's actually a head, not a helmet that can fit over. Uh, this awesome looking shotgun here. Uh, it's got the uh, drilled barrels. You can just about make up, make out, sorry. Uh, I thought this stock might fold backwards because Acid Rain or stuff has lots of details, but it doesn't. Or if it does, I'm not prepared to try and break it in doing so. Two pistols. I think these are... Possibly new, I don't remember seeing this exact type before, but they are really nice. Again, drill barrels are the same, and it's knife we've seen before too. I'm using this uh, Fortnite the Bolt um, set as a backdrop because it's really damn cool. So, okay, so I keep banging stuff to my left here. Let me just quickly move that out of the way. Okay, let's have a look at her articulation. So she looks left, right, down, up, side to side, shoulders all the way around. Going up, she gets, let me see, almost flat on both. Not quite flat, but almost flat. Um, but her shoulders do have a roll. Not anything as good as Shadow of Asamite. Uh, this is a different shoulder articulation system on this. Shadow of Asamite has far better shoulder articulation. Uh, biceps will be phenomenal. Pachung! And right hand is gun articulation and it rotates. Left hand is wave articulation and it rotates again. She has trunk articulation you can see here, but you won't get much out of that because of the jacket. She has um, waist articulation, which is kind of part there on me. Ooh. There we go. Waist articulation too, so she can turn and dip. Uh, the belt comes off from the back. I've just seen that because it's come off. You can see the little clip here goes into there. Uh, I like acid rain accessories, but the belts and stuff and the vests are normally, if they've got clips, really hard to put on once you take them off. So, you know, the best for these sort of vests and stuff is Joy Toy because their system is so easy and it's firm and easy to put on and take off. See, this one is coming off again. Yeah, mom. And I want to put it on because I want to show her with the show her with the other stuff. Okay, so legs, hips a bit not great. Uh, you see that big gap there. Legs forwards not fantastic. Backwards is not great. Sideways was alright, but then these sculpts can get in the way on, with the. Uh, the holsters for her pistols. She has a thigh twist, double kneecap, and Acid Rain World normally has, and she's no exception. Really tight, double knee bend, great for your posing. She has a boot twist, which is great. Nice ballerina tippy toe. Her dorsiflexation appears to be pretty good too. And the belt's coming off again. And her feet also, I believe, yeah, they can twist outwards and inwards, which is really quite cool. Um, so we've seen with the head, let's put this masked helmet on instead, rather. All right, that is a tight fit, which means when you take it off, that neck peg is going to come with it. Uh, if I can fit this belt on again, please stay in place. Okay, uh, pistols, if I put one in, just to test how tight the fit is on the actual holster, 
yeah, they're not coming out. See how she holds a pistol, first of all. Holds that really well with the, uh, the right hand, has to be said. Very, very nice. I do like that a lot. And so the both pistols can be stowed in the uh, holsters. And again, her belt is coming off, which is annoying me now. I said, Rainwell, please sort out the way you do your belts and your backpacks and stuff. The knife, I know she holds well. I'm not going to show that, but there is place for that on the back. Hence why I want to put this in place. And that can slot in, in the belt section. There, nice and easily. So that's pretty cool. And then let's see how she can hold this shotgun. Should be very easy with her bicep articulation and shoulder articulation and hand articulation. Acid Rain Mode are some of the best action figures in any scale for holding weapons. Particularly with this extreme bicep range, it makes it easy. She's got rubbery hands, so she should grip quite nicely. Oh, that's fantastic. And she holds that really well. <coughs> she does look particularly good, I have to say. Looks quite good in front of this bank vault as well. Let's compare some other, other figures. Let's compare her with Midas, who came with this Fortnite set I'm using as a backdrop. Looks good with Midas. Let's use a Robocop figure, one of those generic Robocop robots, cops from Robocop 2. Is it an E? Is it EDM or EM208? I've forgotten, um, but I have reviewed them. It looks good next to him too. Uh, let's use, let me see, a Joy Toy Wastelander, another female figure. And again, scales well, looks good next to her as well. She is a great figure. I do like her a lot. Um, does have a, that issue of the hips I don't like. And again, these belts come off like it's not on properly now. It's, they're not easy to put back on again. But she is nice. I do recommend her. Um, again, the shoulders is not the same articulation as, as the Shadow of Asimite. Shadow of Asimite is far better articulation on the shoulders because they've got the actual complete roll in. So, but she is good, easy to pose, and she holds that shotgun particularly well. In fact, I could probably make her hold it even more forwards than that, as opposed to being sideways. Let's have a look. A little bit better. A great or all round falling over figure. A great all round figure, another good release, though a little bit expensive, it has to be said. No, it doesn't want to stand up for me. Come on. Okay, this is Awesome Match Toys. I'm signing out saying please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll be back soon with more Awesome Match Toy video reviews for you. Stay happy, keep collecting, and click on the notification icon to so update later videos. Bye-bye.